Welcome back. Tonight we continue our five-part series, Faces of Transplants. Right now there is a desperate shortage of organ donations. And that means doctors have to get pretty creative. In tonight's sponsor segment, News for Utah, Saray Chin has more with our partner, Intermountain Medical Center. Doctors at Intermountain Medical Center are some of the first to use diseased livers, more specifically those with hepatitis C. And so far, they've had a 100% success rate. Came out of the blue. Peter Hammond of Salt Lake had late stage liver failure. The only chance you have is to get a transplant. That was the message from Dr. Richard Gilroy, medical director of the Hepatology and Liver Transplant Program at Intermountain Medical Center. It's an agonizing wait time until you receive. Yes, you need a liver transplant. Sorry, you need to get sicker to get one. Because the closer to dying you are, the faster you move up the waiting list. And that's what happened to Peter. In that year of waiting, he lost 80 pounds. I have young, young kids that are 10 and 12, and yeah, what would they do if I didn't make it? Lucky for Peter, he doesn't have to wonder about that anymore. And thanks, too, for the unwanted liver, a hep C diseased organ that many doctors would otherwise not use. Surgeons at Intermountain Medical Center have performed a record number of liver transplants last year, 52. Ten of them were hep C diseased livers, largely because of the opioid epidemic. Every cloud has a silver lining, and heroin's been out for saving lives. It is a tragedy that that is what it takes to save more lives. I'm glad I had the chance to even be asked for a diseased liver because mm. if, if I had had to wait much longer, I'd, I'd probably be dead by now. If I... Doctors say with hep C liver transplants, they've seen quick recoveries and the ability to clear the disease. I'll always remember Pioneer Day uh, 2017. That was the day I, I uh, got my new liver and I got a new lease on life. The most common cause of liver disease in Utah is fatty liver disease. The problem is causing not just more people needing a liver transplant, but also affecting the quality of potential organ donations. Dr. Gilroy says it's startling seeing the growing crisis right before his eyes. Today I've seen three people with cirrhosis from fatty liver disease out of the five people I saw. And I am going to see another two this afternoon out of the next four people I'll see who will have the same problem. And they didn't know it. So we've got to change. That change, Dr. Gilroy says, starts with combating obesity. He says reduce calories and he recommends a Mediterranean diet and increasing exercise. I'm Saray Chin, News 4, Utah. Dr. Gilroy says he will continue to lose, use hep C livers. He looks forward to the day when bioengineered livers could address the shortage.